This peach is so delicious. Hey, hi Nati. Mm. Hi. Mm. Mm. Hi Adrian. Nice peach you have there. Mm. Yeah, it's, it, it looks is very nice. It's delicious, delicious, big and sweet. Can mm. I have some, please? Oh, uh, kids, what should I do? I, I, if I share with Adrian, then I will have a lot less to eat. But on the other side, I know Jesus says it's much better to give than to receive. So I, I don't know, should I share or not? Maybe I should. Yeah, it will make him happy too. So, and it's delicious. Mm, okay, I'll share. Um, okay, all oh, right. Thank mm, you. Look, I just have here one of these okay. things. Okay, thank you. Let me try it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Do you like it? A lot. This mm. is good. But we are starting the program, so. Oh, yeah, you're let right. Me put this Just aside. Put this aside. Mm. Mm. Even though it was delicious. Thank you for sharing. And it's Saturday again. Yes. The most beautiful day of all. Yes. And so we want to welcome you to another episode of, of Hidden, Hidden Treasures, Treasures for, for Children. Children. And today we have so many different things to share and to uh, enjoy together. So I hope we can put everything in place to have a wonderful program. So we will start singing right now, Jesus Loves the Little Children. Brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Beautiful. Thank you, Bart, for helping us with the music. So now we have a special surprise for the first prayer. Yes, we are not going to pray today. No. We have a friend from Argentina. Far away. Yeah, not from Hong Kong, from the other side of the world. And she's from Argentina, like Nati said. Yes, her name is Milena Peralta from Comodoro Rivadavia, Argentina. Yes. So thank you so much for joining us and we will pray. Okay, so remember, we put our hands together, we bow our heads, we close our eyes, and we pray. Dear God, thank you for this Sabbath and for your love. Be with us now and bless us all. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much, Milena for sending the prayer and we want to encourage all of you, okay, to share with us uh, prayers and send pictures for the activity or anything that you want to share so we can include it in, in our program. Uh, yes, in our programs. Okay, now we will discover what's the gem for today. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Mm. It's my turn. No, oh, whose turn it is? Do you remember yeah, who did it last Sabbath? His. Yes. Okay, so I'll show you the most important treasure of all. And, and then from that treasure, we comes have this gem. Do, yes, this precious stone. Okay, okay, that's what it says. Share. share. Wow, it's so nice to share. Or when they sh people share with us, right? Sometimes it's not that easy for us to share. Like for me with the fruit, yes, mm, it was kind of hard so first. Good. Yes. But I know that makes other people happy, so then I share. Yes. And talking about sharing, <gasps> some friends from different parts of the world share with us pictures. And short videos. Yes, okay. about their pets. We yeah. ask. And yeah. about the activity as well wow. they did last Sabbath. That's okay. wonderful. Okay, who are they? Okay, first. so uh, first we, we and you will see it on the screen. 
uh, Paula from yes. Chaco, Argentina. She sent us a picture of she has a cat called and, Perla. Yes, called Perla, and a dog called, called Roger. Roger. And then Janita and Vani. They are two sisters that want to introduce us their pets, their cats. Their names are Malti and Wichi. Yes, and they also share with us uh, the cards they made. Oh, okay, so yes. thank you so much. And you know Lina, she was in the video before. She also sent us a short video introducing her pet. Hello everyone, this is my friend. Her name is Harmony. She is so nice and cute. I love her so much. And also, she uh, sent some pictures about the activity that she did. Okay. So, thank, uh, thank you all of you for sending your uh, pets and also sharing the activities. And this is what we like, okay? Being able to communicate. Share. Yeah, to we communicate. share with each other. And to make things easier for sharing with us, we have a good news. <gasps> yes, finally, we have our own a Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yes. Yay! So ask mom and daddy in the link below in the description and there we can interact more and share you videos. You can upload and, yes, pictures and, and videos and tell things. us and from there we can uh, add them to the, the programs we will have. Okay. Let's go and study the story, the lesson for today. Please. Yes. Please, please. It's very important. It's all I about. I guess it's about sharing. Yes. The story for today is a little boy shares. And the memory verse says, don't forget to share with others. Hebrews 13, 16. And this story is about a little boy that one day, one morning, he saw many people walking towards one direction. And when he asked, they said, we are going to see Jesus. So he went inside and said, Mommy, Mommy, can I go with them? Can I go with them? And mom said, yes, you can go. But wait, let me prepare some food for you. So his mom prepared a basket and they didn't have much. But he, she put two fish and five loaves of bread so he could eat later during the day. So the little boy packed everything very happily and then he started work, walking, walking, walking until he found Jesus. And Jesus told so many beautiful and wonderful stories. So the whole day the basket was beside the little boy. He didn't even remember. Yeah, one time the stomach grumbled a little bit but he didn't want to miss any of the words of Jesus. So when the day was about to be over and he heard that Jesus was telling the disciples, okay, it's a little bit late. And the disciples said, okay, send everyone away. And Jesus said, no, wait, you need to feed them. And the disciples were like, what? We don't have enough food for this multitude. We have more than 5,000 people here. Where can we get some food? But one of the disciples, Andrew, came close to this boy. And Andrew asked, do you have something to share? And the little boy said, I have something. So he showed to Andrew the five loaves of bread and the two fish. And Andrew said, thank you for sharing, little boy. But this is not even enough for more than 5,000 people. You know, it's just a little. But he said, okay, I will take it to Jesus anyway. So the little boy and Andrew walk up to Jesus and... The little boy said, here, Jesus, you can have my food. And Jesus looked at him and he said, thank you so much. That will be enough. And the little child said, maybe thought, I don't think this is enough. But Jesus did something very, very important. He took the food and then he prayed, thanking God for this little boy because he wanted to share and after Jesus prayed, he took one bread out with a fish and another bread and another fish and then more bread. He kept 
taken out of the basket and the little boy's eyes grew bigger and bigger and bigger because where all these fish and bread is coming out of? I only had five and Jesus is giving to disciples so many, you know, and Jesus kept taking out and out and out and sharing and the disciples, you know, taking and giving to the people. Of course, Jesus asked them to sit down so that everything was in order and, you know, thousands of loaves of bread were given that day and the little boy was like, I cannot believe this happened. But then Jesus looked at him and he said, Look, because you shared, I was able to perform this miracle. So all these people had good food. And you know the story, right? Because they were not only, they not only eat a little bit, they ate until they were full. So a lot of leftovers were on the field. So Jesus asked his disciples, okay, take baskets and put back whatever the people didn't eat so they can carry it home. And you remember, or do you know how many of these baskets? 12, 12 baskets of leftovers they gather and then later they share it with the rest of the people. Can you imagine this little boy going back home and saying, Mom, Dad, you will not believe what happened. And then he shared the story. And how nice is this story because it tells us that we can share whatever we have, a toy, some clothes, some food, because Jesus can transform that little gift into a big miracle to help others that are in need. Don't you want to decide to follow Jesus and do whatever he teaches you? So for this week's activity, we have something different, but something special anyway. We will uh, need for this activity a few things. A bag, if you can choose any. It depends on what are you going to give, okay? Any bag, a ribbon, scotch tape, and something to give, to share with others. And I will take a few seconds to name some of the things that we can give. For example, we have some toys, we have some stationery for children maybe they don't have, uh, we have some books that talks about Jesus, we have some clothes that maybe they, they are in good condition but we are too old for them or we are too big for them, they are too small for us. Uh, we have some toys that are also in good condition but maybe we don't use that often and we can make some other children happy with those toys. And one of the most important things, food. Uh, with this situation there are many families that are going through difficult times and they don't have enough money to buy some food and we can share with them we have some beans we have some fruit fresh fruit dry fruit or maybe we have some nuts uh, different kinds of food that we can share today I chose these bag and I will put Mm, maybe some food here, okay, some beans, um, some fruit, and some fresh fruit. And what we will do is uh, just place the ribbon here with the scotch tape. And we can use, if you didn't give this away yet, the card we did last week, we can use this one, okay? Especially if you don't have any name here written or you can make a new one. With the help of mommy and daddy, you can check who might be in need and they will also be part of this very special moment of giving someone else something they might be in need of. So I invite you to do this this week and please take a picture and maybe post it in the Facebook and if not if you cannot you can send it to us so we can post it too okay it will be so nice to see you sharing this week wow what a wonderful story yes amazing. I love it yes one kid 
sharing through Jesus more can than 5,000 people. Can you imagine 5,000? That's it a lot. It means that every one of our friends, when giving, Jesus can multiply that into blessings for so many others. Yes, yes. And the activity, it was different, okay, because it's not like we prepare many things. But how important, especially now that we are going through this big crisis all over the world, right? And maybe we are blessed with different things, but maybe a neighbor, a friend, someone that we know is having a difficult yes, time. Yes, it's in need. So how nice is that we learn from this kid and Jesus sharing, we can also share. And Jesus can make powerful miracles, yes, right? Yes, wonderful. And our song has something to do with it. Yes. But we will show you that we forgot to uh, introduce the other pet we have. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> so we will call Nina. 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 Come here. Nina. Nina, Nina. And I'm going to look for the other pet we have. I think it's over there. Here it is. Ita. You can show, you can yes. show. Go, 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 go. We also adopt a few months ago this wonderful tortoise. Her name is Tita. And she is very friendly and she likes to walk all over the house and outside when the weather is nice. So we have two beautiful pets. And please, as you share some of the pictures with your pets, now we will ask you to share the pictures when you give these things, okay? When if you if you are willing to give a toy to someone else to share. Um, I don't know, food or any other things, uh, maybe clothes with someone that is in need, please send us a picture, okay? We would love to see the work that you're doing and I'm sure God is going to work through the uh, little things that you can do for others. Now we will sing. Yes, what a mighty God we serve. Yes, because He's powerful. Let's repeat. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before Him. Heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve. Okay, it's time to finish. Yes. Nati, can you pray for us, please? Yes, of course. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful story. Thank you because with uh, one little child willing to share, you could make such a huge miracle. Lord, please help our little friends, wherever they are, to be able to share with someone in a special way this week so you can perform a miracle too. Lord, bless us, bless our families, and be with us through the week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It was really nice to enjoy another program with you. Thank you for joining us. And we hope we can see each other again next Sabbath in yes. another episode of Hidden, Hidden Treasures, Treasures for Children. Bye-bye. Happy Sabbath.